I see a lot of growth when I look out at them. The science of reading, had, it's proven that it works and that it produces better readers. G -g. G -g. It's literally like a road map to reading, um, as well as like to their brain. The word is? Brain. There we go, kiss your brains. We want to be the best elementary school in the state of Ohio. I believe that if you teach kids how to read fundamentally, then you teach them to be critical thinkers. And if you teach them to be critical thinkers, you empower them to go into the world. As snakes. As snakes. We like um, to sound it, and then we, then we keep trying it until we get the word. I clap them out. It makes it easier for me to understand easier because there is actual brain science involved in the science of reading methods. Different parts of the brain um, work in unison systematically when you see a word or hear a word. When someone is learning to read, pathways in the brain must be built. Science shows that when readers read, the brain activates letter recognition with the sounds that letters make to the meaning of the word. Explicit instruction helps to build these pathways. Through instructional strategies that are based on the science of reading, we're able to help kids make those connections. Dr. Dottie Erb, a prior skeptic, now embraces science of reading methods, which have been infused into teaching future teachers at Marietta College. It is immoral to ignore what science tells us that will inform the way that we teach reading. This is a game changer. The science of reading refers to 50 years worth of research from around the world about the brain, how proficient reading and writing develop, why some kids have difficulty, and how to assess, teach, and improve outcomes. Dr. Melissa Weber Mayer, the Ohio Department of Education's literacy chief, explains that the science-based teaching includes five key skills. They are phonemic awareness, which is the sounds that we hear. It is phonics, which is connecting sounds and letters, so identifying letters, but also knowing all of the sounds that those letters make, because letters make more than one sound. It is the amount of vocabulary that we know or, and are exposed to. It is fluency, and fluency not just in reading paragraphs, but also fluency in how fast can I decode a word and how accurately can I decode the word. And then comprehension, which is, do I bring meaning to what I'm reading? So part of what's happening in your brain is as you're being taught in this explicit, systematic, sequential way, your brain is, is putting this into your working memory so you can apply this later when you come to words that you don't know. Dr. Weber Mayer believes the move to science of reading instruction, which only some Ohio schools have made, is urgent. 40% of Ohio's third graders are not proficient readers. It is urgent, which is why, in places like Cincinnati, Dayton, and Heath, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and First Lady Fran DeWine are watching the science of reading instruction in action, while pushing for every Ohio student, K-12, through to receive this science-based, systematic approach. We know that reading um, proficiency dictates quality of life. We can make a huge difference in the lives of, of Ohio students. We saw nearly a double a percentage in annual growth for their iReady assessments. It is absolutely worth the investment and I would argue that it is the highest lever for improving student outcomes as it relates to early literacy. Far, sting, swing. What rhymes? But usually separating words and making them and spelling them and just fun stuff like that. How do you feel, old friend? I love reading. I read almost every night. It gives me enough confidence to like break down any word that I don't feel confident in. And be thinking, what does the word say now? And I'm proud that I have that much confidence because my teacher taught me how to gain it. The C makes the S.
sound. It is so fun to see the light bulbs going off when students are listening, speaking, writing, using tactile um, activities. All parts of the brain um, are being activated. When uh, my students uh, first took the district diagnostic assessment, we had 61% of my third graders below or well below grade level. Now we have 63% of students um, at or above grade level. It was not about poverty, it was not about students' home life, it was about what we can do, what is in our control in this building, what practices can we put in place to make sure that our kids are literate and that they can read. Do you tell me the whole word? Are you ready? Tap along with me. Our students in grades three through five engage in vocabulary instruction every single day build background knowledge, learning the definitions, using it in sentences, talking with partners. It feels good to have our parents walk in during our literacy nights and say, hey, thank you for doing this. I can use this with my family at home or with my kids. Sub is K through second grade. Our students engage in phonemic awareness activities every single day. Activities typically include rhyming, segmenting, blending, onset and rhyme. This activity helps them to understand how words are put together and taken apart. When I think about literacy, I think of the great equalizer. It's equity. It gives them access. T-U-C-K. Third grade proficiency test scores jumped from 50% to 91% over a four year period at Riverside Elementary. Today what you're going to do is practice doing tap it, map it, graph it, zap it. Literacy specialist Margot Ship works with teachers and even the new principal. Spell it for us. S-T-O-P. Zap it. Stop. Nice. To support science of reading instruction. This district is willing to pay to have their teachers continue, the new teachers come in so that everyone speaks the same language. Three. From intervention specialists to the speech right, language pathologist to the kindergarten teacher to the sixth grade teacher, everyone can talk the same thing. At the beginning of the year, I was reading six words per minute. And today? I can read 101 words in a minute. Early reading achievement has a multiplier effect, creating more and more opportunities which is why teachers are passionate about the science of reading methods they are seeing transform students every single day. I want them to have the same chances that their other peers may have. I want to be a pharmaceutical scientist. I want to be a pediatrician. I want to be a realtor. I want to be a scientist. When they come to school, they should get what they need in order to be successful in this world. Flex! They deserve that as children. Good things are coming. It's a start to empowering every child to meet their potential and do what they can do. The bird.